This segment is the first of two segments covering Cutting Master 4. This segment will show how to set up your driver and then test the driver to make sure that it is communicating with the cutter. Once the Cutting Master 4 is installed, the next step is to set the FC9000 driver. Start by double clicking on this icon on the desktop. This window requests that we log into our SAI account. If you don't have an account, it can be created by clicking the link below, which will step you through the process. Once you have an account, enter the email and password here, and then click the sign in button. In some cases, you may have to double click the Cutting Master 4 icon again to start it. This message may appear, depending on the operating system. It allows Cutting Master 4 to verify your account. Go ahead and click Allow. The next window is where we choose which GraphTech driver we need. Click the list of models from this pull-down menu and find your driver. In this case, we will be using the FC9140, and then click Next. There are several to choose from, but in this case, we'll stick to USB. Under Device, it shows that the FC9000 is connected. Keep in mind that if the cutter is not turned on, the device name will not appear. We can click on FC9000 and then click on Finish. Next is where we can name the device. This is handy if there are several FC9000 drivers where a particular number or name can be assigned to each cutter. The driver is set, so let's test the connection. This is done by clicking on the down arrow on the right side of the driver's name. From the pull-down menu, we can select Test Cut, and this will send a cut pattern to the FC9000. You should immediately see your cutter make a movement. If it makes a movement, you'll know that it is communicating and ready to go.